I'm Joshua Young, and I'm here with Ken Micklejohn, the president of Ancient Mariner Retail Stores. And we're going to talk about Ancient Mariner today, find out about the business, its history, and where it's going next. So how's it going, Ken? It's great today. That's great. Yeah, the weather's agreeing with us. Beautiful today. <laughs> so let's start with, let's obviously start with the history of Ancient Mariner. Can you tell us about the very beginning of it up until now? From what I understand, Ancient Mariner started in 1903. It was started by a captain. And apparently he was making sales, and I guess over the years it evolved into an awning manufacturing company. Today, Ancient Manor is the most well-known awning company in Vancouver. It has been for decades. And we have a constant stream of customers that call us on a continuous basis for awnings and signs. Our logo is on thousands of awnings in the Lower Mainland. I've been involved now for six years, and I still don't even know 99.9% .9 of the work that's done over the last 100 and some years. They've been very busy. Now, you, what was your background before Ancient Mariner? My background was commercial and residential real estate, and I've owned hundreds of billboards in Western Canada, some of which I sold to Jimmy Pattison, and some of which I sold to CBS Outdoor. One of my companies, TransCanada Displays, is still running with uh, billboards along the highway out towards Chilliwack. A lot of the billboards I sold Patterson are still installed, and he's been generating revenues from them from decades. And the CBS billboards are obviously still all installed as well, and they're making good revenues from them as well. What made you decide to move into Ancient Mariners? I was virtually trying to buy more companies. I've known Ancient Mariner for years, and I was negotiating with the owner, and it took me about six months, and one day he finally called up, and he said he'd be interested in selling it, and we bought it. How was Ancient Mariner from the day where you bought it to now? How has it sort of evolved and continuously grown? Well, when, when we bought it, it, it was working from a 10,000 square foot manufacturing plant down on the east side of Vancouver. We now do our manufacturing in Richmond. I'm rebranding the name into anything to do with the exterior of houses. The awning market is only so large, it's not large enough for me. And basically, there's uh, hundreds of thousands of houses in the city of Vancouver, in the Lower Mainland, and across Canada. And I want Ancient Mariner to be rebranded into one of the most well knowns across Canada to purchase exterior products for homes decoration. And that includes gates, railings, landscaping, patio umbrellas, retractable awnings for houses, anything to do with the exterior of a house. We've even got a line of fiberglass swimming pools right now that we're starting to promote. We do a lot of Sierra Lawrence products, sunshades, glass railings. Our websites are running right across Canada. I've got a call from Halifax the other day. We get calls from Penticton and Kelowna all the time. And I can see the railing business being, especially these glass railings, being a vital part of our business. And that's the thing, too. When you say exteriors of houses, some people may say that, but what they really mean is, is, is one aspect or a few aspects, but you actually mean everything. We want to be a one-stop shop. So a homeowner could come to us. We'll do the landscaping. We'll do the gates. We'll do the masonry work. We'll put plant his lawn for him. We'll put his fiberglass pool in and concrete pool in. And in the end, we'll sell him awnings. Wow. One stop. As far as the rebranding goes, this also means you're planning on expanding and opening up places all over Canada. The plan is, the long-term plan is we have about 175 stores across Canada. I found a location last week up on Broadway, actually, it's about 11,000 square feet. I have an offer prepared for it. I'm hoping to lease it. Mm -hmm. And the plan is we have 175 stores across Canada, 175, 177 or so. Three different brands, one being glass, one being exteriors of houses, and the other one being commercial work, which we've been doing for decades. Mm -hmm. And what I'm imagining is homeowners, for example, can walk in our stores and pick gates and railings and awnings, retractable awnings. We have awnings from four or five different suppliers, different brands, different colors, different shapes. We supply three or four different fabrics. And we're launching an online store called ancientmarinerexteriorsonline.com. And basically, we're going to sell many of the products online, and I think that should really substantially increase our sales. Restoration Hardware is projecting massive sales increases because of their online uh, presence, and I don't see why we should be any different. Uh, out of curiosity, was there a time when being online didn't really make sense for a business like this? Well, when we're a commercial company, yeah, because everything is custom made. Mm. But umbrellas are a different story. That's true. Okay, uh, retractable lines. We have about four or five major brands. A homeowner is going to be able to go online. He's going to specify his width of his on, and he wants his projection, the fabric, and motor, no motor, uh, sun and wind sensors. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be able to just click, 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 and then he's going to be able to buy in the end, and then we'll have it shipped right out to his house. That's incredible. So we actually are at a point where online it makes so much sense for somebody wanting these types of products. Well, definitely. I mean, there's all kinds of companies on the internet right now selling like outdoor furniture. We're going to be selling outdoor furniture as well. We've got about four or five really good brands already. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's another product we want to sell homeowners. 
but why not just expand that to retractable awnings? Why should we have to send a salesman out to measure a house when the homeowners, a lot of the cases they already know how big an awning they want. Yeah, absolutely. And we actually sell a lot of awnings to people like in out remote areas. We sell them over the phone anyhow. There you go. So why not just do it online? It makes complete sense. Now about the showroom, you, you touched a little bit briefly on it, but let's walk into the showroom, how you want it to look like in the end. This particular showroom that I'm getting ready to make your offers up on Broadway, it's on the Broadway and Burrard area. Homeowner will walk in on the right-hand side, they'll see, as I mentioned before, banks, retractable awnings, different styles, different colors and shapes. We'll go further, there'll be hot tubs, there'll be gates, there'll be railings, there'll be patio furniture. Uh, there'll be basket awnings for the second level. There'll be a complete section set up for C.R. Lawrence products, glass products, sunshades. I just called on a builder the other day out in Richmond. The fellow builds like 250 houses a year and he never heard of C.R. Lawrence. Really? Okay. Yeah, and I explained to him what a sunshade was. And he says, that might look amazing on the side of my new building because that's the reason I went to saw him because he wants some commercial awnings. Mm. And he didn't even know about C.R. Lawrence and the sunshades. Wow. So basically, we want homeowners to be able to see about these unique products. Architects would love to be able to walk in as well and see these products. It's an educational process as well. You know, you get to educate the customer and the person. Definitely. I mean, a lot of these large companies, they actually don't do much marketing. Mm -hmm. And it's word of mouth. I mean, they're huge companies. But I'm finding a lot of homeowners and a lot of builders, for example, have never heard of C.R. Lawrence before. Mm -hmm. Okay, they certainly have never heard of most of the awning brands. We carry all of the major brands. The reason being is they might not have done much work in Vancouver, and the local awning companies don't seem to do much work in finding new products. I'm a little different because I go to shows where awning products are displayed, like for wholesalers, you know, like shows like in Orlando, and you go in there and you see Sunstop or Advertise, and you see Duracell awnings advertise. You know, they set up a booth. Yeah. So I go to shows like that on a regular basis. So I'm right up to date on the latest products. And then that's we can bring them into Vancouver and, and then start promoting them right across Canada. Wow, that's incredible. So the showroom is actually going to be, uh, you can walk in, basically design your backyard right then and there. Anything. Anything you want to do with the backyard or, your, or the front yard of your house. Of course, yeah. 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 And some interior with the glass railings as well. That's right, yeah. So anything to do with the exterior of the house. You'll see gates and railings and uh, there'll be sections to bring your landscaping plans in if you have or sections to talk to landscaping ex experts. Mm -hmm. Some of these contracts for these large houses are eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand dollars a house for exterior landscaping. So why shouldn't we be bidding on that work? We're there. We know about it. Why not bid on it? I'm a, I'm a little curious because it, it seems like this is the first time that someone's actually designed a company that has products like yours this way. You're right. Basically, Home Depot sells all these same products, but they're all low-cost and mass-produced. Mm. We want to be at the high end of the market like Restoration Hardware is for the interior, but we just want to be the exterior. And it is very high-end products. I mean, we're, we are talking top of the line. Definitely. We want to be known as, a, as one of the best brands in the exterior home improvement renovation market. What do you like most about this part, uh, about this company? I mean, there seems to be a lot of different aspects, especially considering your past and experience. Well, I like the growth potential. I mean, basically, I was thinking of buying all the properties, but now we've, I've since changed my mind and we're going to start leasing, mostly because there's no available property in Vancouver for, for sale of the size of square footage we need. We need ten to 12,000 square feet per store. That's huge. But the growth potential is substantial. I mean, there's a hundred thousand. There's about 171 markets, or 177. I quite can't re can't quite remember markets in Canada with over 100,000 people per market, mm -hmm. and we feel we need at least 100,000 people to support each store. So the growth potential is unbelievable. I'm 63 this summer, so probably it'll be a work in progress for me. <laughs> I think it's probably going to take about 10 years. Little Lemon did it in about 10 years, about 180 stores, I understand. Wow. I think our stores should have a higher sales volume than them because our products are higher priced, plus we do the installation. A lot of homeowners are, just don't have any idea how to install a lot of our products, and we obviously want to do it so the homeowner is happy with the product and he knows it's installed properly. These days, everybody talks about how they don't have enough time. There's not enough time for this and that. To be able to, to simply walk into a showroom, see exactly what you want, give the specifications and let other people take care of that. That's a huge... Yes, a and huge, what I imagine is us having teamed of sprinter vans operated by skilled technicians that know every product inside and out mm. and just driving around like West End or West Side of Vancouver just installing our products. That's and all the vans will be professionally graphics, you know, graphics on the side be professionally wrapped. 
mm-hmm. and that'll be advertising in itself. Of course, yeah. You've got advertisements driving around the city all day long. Yeah, I'm thinking of the big sprinter vans. That's what I'm thinking of. Right. I like them because they got big spaces for graphics on the side. That's fantastic. Well, let's talk a little bit about this website that's coming up soon, the online store. We're not seeing it right now. Maybe by the time someone, you know, wants it, it should be running in about three weeks. Okay, so okay. very soon. Yeah, we're going to have about five or six major furniture brands on there. We're going to have awnings. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I mentioned previously, retractable awnings and we'll have basket awnings for second levels okay. from about three or four different suppliers. Right. Okay, Most people don't see them advertised anywhere no. or they're not available in any stores. Or we're going to have sunshades, the C.R. Lawrence products. We're going to have umbrellas from about four or five different suppliers. We're going to have fireplaces, outdoor fireplaces and fire pots, oh, heaters, those. children's products for outdoors. We've now got a line of outdoor televisions that have been specifically designed for outdoor use. Oh, so for all weather purposes. All, we- all the weather TVs. Most people don't know you can get an outdoor TV. And then we're going to have specialty items like lawn ornaments and different items like specialty stuff. We're not going to be putting the high price items on there. I don't really want to be paying MasterCard a fee for uh, selling a fiberglass swimming pool. Of course. No. <laughs> and, and, and in many cases, we still have to have uh, experienced sales reps go out to a homeowner's house and take measurements and, and uh, determine the products and services that they need. There's a little more one-on-one for something of that magnitude. Yeah, but they can either go online, but they can also come into the store and uh, see the products as well. That's the plan. Wow, that's great. And the website too, I mean, I can imagine it's going to be also another, it's another way to educate the people on what you have, what certain things are and certain brands are too. We already have about 25 websites. We have our own servers and we have about 25 websites already. And like I say, we're getting calls already from people in Florida and Philadelphia. I got a call last week. Somebody wanted some sunshades, Halifax. Somebody wanted some railings. And basically what it is is we're going to be advertising the online store on all our websites. And then we'll be advertising the retail stores on the online website. So there'll be a lot of cross uh, promotion, I guess would be a good word for it. Which is great because nobody's going to go to one website and miss it. Yeah, we already have that. Like, for example, if someone goes on a commercial website and it's a residential, ends up on a commercial website and it's a residential customer, we have a a button there, click here for residential customers. Mm -hmm. And you never know, like, for example, we might have a business customer and he's looking at at our commercial website and he says, well, geez, I, I I have a house. I need some products here, so why don't I look at the residential? Mm. So then we, he goes to the residential website, clicks a button, and it goes to the residential, and he sees a whole host of other products. And inter- interestingly enough, some of the products are, that are good for residential are good for commercial and vice versa. Of course, yeah. So it's, a, it's another potential uh, customer right there. I can't wait to actually just start surfing through all the products and see what's there. The children's products area, what would be? Well, we're thinking slides, you know, uh, et cetera, you know, swing sets, et cetera. I mean, we're there. Um, Mm -hmm. Why not put them on the website? You just never know. Somebody up in Whistler that can't drive to Vancouver, for example, might have a child and just want to ship up to Whistler. Online online sales apparently are taking off around the world. And if we don't put it up there, we won't sell it. Absolutely. And, you know, it's a great communication tool for those people that may not be able to get down to Vancouver right away to take a look at your showroom when it's when it's up and running. People sit and they talk. And a homeowner might be sitting with his neighbor and says, I went online with Ancient Marin and I bought a children's uh, slide and they have some really neat products there and you need a retractable awning. Why don't you go online and buy yourself a retractable awning? You just don't know. Word them out. That's, that's what it is. And, and, and that's the most people, valuable type of advertising out there. And had just having the communication tools so people can yeah. start the word We'll also be installing a lot of these products. Like if somebody has a, wants a retractable awning in Whistler, we will organize installation of that product in Whistler as well. Or the homeowner can do it himself. There's some tricks to the trade for doing it, but you know, a good handyman will be able to install these products. Mm. So we generally charge, like, it depends on how complex it is, but $250 to install a retractable awning. But a, a homeowner could probably stick an ad on Craigslist and get a good handyman to do it for the same thing. Okay. So basically, if we have a, you know, we sell an awning to somebody up in Nelson. Nelson. And, yeah. and we just ship it straight from the manufacturer to Nelson. He can just go on, online and get a handyman and install it. It's great that that option is there. Um, I mean, for me, I would just like the, the people that actually I buy it from to do the installation. Yeah, yeah, but if we're not there, I mean, a lot of these are... Absolutely. It's, you know, out of our territory, uh, so to speak, right? Mm-hmm. Basically, the bottom line is we're working full-time to open up this network of stores across Canada. We're working full-time to develop the, the online website. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to the future. Uh, Canada's got uh, hundreds of thousands of houses under construction at all times. I mean, if you take a drive around West Vancouver, it's amazing 
every time you turn down a side street, uh, houses are being torn down and, and demo, you know. Yeah, and new ones are being new ones are new being bigger constructed. Ones. And every one of those is our potential customer. We've got a program where um, sales reps go out and knock on doors, and they've got a package. Uh, we drop off to them. It's worked. I personally tested it, and I called on a house over here in West Point Gray, and I dropped off a package of, of our products, um, and the builder actually bought like a $12,000 glass railing system last week. So that's, we know it works. That's fantastic. Yeah. And you're coming to them at every single angle too, you know, the website, the marketing online, in person. Yeah, and we've got so many products and such a diversified sales program. Like you mentioned, like online and calling them in our websites and they do Google searches and they find us. There's many, many ways that customers can find us or we can find them. Wow, that's great. Okay, and once the stores are open, it's going to be a huge profile for the company. And then once the Sprinter vans are out there running around, there's going to be even more advertising. And at one time, Ancient Mariner was the most dominant awning company in Vancouver, and I want to make it even bigger and better than that. This has been an interview with President Ken Micklejohn. Be sure to check out the new Ancient Mariner website, ancientmarinerexteriors-online.com. Thank you for listening.